Hey guys, Louie here with an article from Kitco, U.S. Mint's 2019 gold coin sales weakest on record. Investors favor ETFs and the stock market. Well, there's an interesting article. Let's see why people don't want the, uh, the yellow metal. I'm going to go right to the article itself. Okay, despite gold's best year in nearly a decade, U.S. gold coin sales struggled as the U.S. Mint reported the worst year on record in terms of American gold uh, coin sales. Uh, gold delighted investors in 2019, rising 18% as Federal Reserve cut rates and geopolitical tensions kept prices in an uptrend. In contrast, the gold coin demand was extremely weak as traders opted for ETFs, futures, and record high equity markets, according to analysts. A total of 152,000 ounces of gold American Eagle coins were sold in 2019, which is 38% less than 2018, according to the latest U.S. Mint data. This marked the lowest sales on record since the U.S. Mint began recording the figures in 1986. Wow. Sales of American, um, of silver American Eagle coins were the worst since 2007 with only 14.8 million ounces sold down from the already weak figure of 15.7 million ounces reported in 2018. In 2007, sales were only uh, about 10 million ounces. One of the reasons behind a strong gold price and weak demand for gold coins is investors choosing to hold gold in other forms, such as gold-backed ETFs and futures. It was mainly professionals, hedgers, and you had a lot of buying from South America, RBC Wealth Management Managing Director George Jarrow told Kitco News on Thursday. Money that normally could have gone into gold coins ended up gold going into gold ETFs or gold futures. The global slowdown has been bringing hedgers into the gold space as many investors become concerned with the continued up move in the stock market. Weak annual coin sales are in stark contrast with the ETF's performance, said TD Securities Head of Global Strategies, Bart Mellick. We started off the year at roughly 71 million ounces. Now we are at 81 million ounces. There's been a significant increase in positioning in ETFs over the year. We've also seen pretty robust increase in the latter part of the year in long exposure as far as speculative funds are as well and central banks. Looks like their purchases were at another 50-year high in 2019, Mellick pointed out. Mellick added that gold coins had to compete with the record high stock market in 2019, much of which has probably been happening, uh, sorry there, much of what has probably been happening is that there were much better returns in other markets, equities in particular, S&P 500 up 30% in the year, he said. Jarrow also said that the roaring stock market has taken away demand from coin sales. On top of that, the strong U.S. dollar might have played as a deterrent to the U.S. Mint's gold coin sales, Malik noted. Last year has been indicative of the fact that the U.S. dollar has been a lot stronger than anyone would have thought. Because of the trade issues, you had China's currency not performing particularly well. We haven't seen as much physical demand because in other currency terms, it seems expensive. All right, I'll pass the chart. Uh, I think that's probably too small for you to see. This was the third year in a row that the U.S. Mint reports very weak coin sales. In 2018, gold and silver coin sales of the American Eagle hit the lowest levels in 11 years. The best year on record was 1999, with 2 million total ounces of gold American Eagle coin. 2 million? Uh, yeah, 2 million ounces of gold American Eagle coin sold, while the second worst year on record was in 2000 when only 164,000 ounces were sold of the same coin. That might be a good year to collect then, huh? The year 2000 for American, uh, uh, American Gold Eagles. The World Gold Council highlighted a similar weak trend globally as well, noting that demand for gold bullion coins and bars nearly halved in the third quarter of 2019 when compared to 2018. 
Demand for coins and bars totaled 150 tons in Q3, its lowest level since the first quarter of 2008. The year-to-date picture is, a similar, is similarly bleak. Cumulative demand in the first three quarters was at its lowest level since 2009. The WGC said a soaring gold price across multiple currencies has prompted retail investors in many markets to either walt, wait in anticipation of a price dip, or sell a portion of their soldings, holdings to realize profits. The overall consumer demand for physical bullion has dropped dramatically in 2019, especially in markets like India, where prices rallied to record highs in local currency, um, and taxes were imposed, more taxes were imposed as well. In India, jewelry demand dropped 32% in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Chinese jewelry demand fell 12% in the third quarter, according to the WGC. And let's see if there's any comments on this story. Uh, here is a comment from Blue Flower. A small slice of, of the story is being told here. How many buffalo coins are being sold? How many maple leaves? How many sovereigns? How many bars? Is there a downturn in physical gold across the board, or just this one coin? Do people now prefer Cougarans because they have been they have better recognition worldwide? Well, I think they're saying that uh, the downturn is worldwide in physical coins, and ETFs are uh, taking a center stage these days. If they minted only ten eagles this year, I'd be buying them. What's the big deal? Orange Palm Tree says, I wonder if people are just more interested in bullion or whatever is cheaper. Of course, a ton of people are maxed out on debt and having little money to buy gold and silver with. Even my stepdaughter realized she would have to move in with three other people just to pay the rent. I think this is a true story that, uh, you know, the younger generation, the millennials in particular, are having a hard time paying rising cost of living. Uh, Purple Guitar says, I think low sales of American Eagle is boring design. Okay, yeah, you're right. Um, the modern U.S. Mint is slacking in artistic and aesthetic quality. Uh, yeah, okay, I think that's true, although worldwide demand seems to be down as well. I think some of the mints around the world are just in grave, grave trouble since the collector market has dropped off and prices are higher. And as they said, if uh, the dollar remains strong, prices are even higher in other currencies. Uh, Kyle says gold and oil continue to outshine 2008 levels, but this time oil will rise above 100 U.S. dollars and gold $2,500. And this year, and these are the bottoms for the next century, we are entering a golden age. Very possible. Uh, let's keep going. Gold is speculatively bid up by hedge funds. Go ahead and buy physical. Be the bag holder for the hedge fund profits. Gold at all-time highs in all currencies but the USD. Retailers are not buying here. All right, so here's someone who says that buying gold at these levels is a mistake and that uh, the prices will come back down. Um, I disagree, but uh, that is one uh, a potential argument, and maybe the retail uh, market is, uh, you know, is also voting to wait for lower gold prices. But the dollar um, and all currencies worldwide are being debased at such a fast pace, faster than ever before, with no cap on the deficit and no uh, political will in Washington. Um, I don't see how that brings lower gold prices or lower silver prices. Um, I think what it will bring is higher inflation. I think that's what they all want. And that'll bring gold prices up. I don't believe we're headed lower. Overpriced gold stopped fake gold nuts. <laughs> Overpriced gold stopped fake gold nuts go nuts. Okay. <laughs> and the last one, uh, Red Paw says, Write me another one. Live in Canada. And I know. The sales of coin, silver and gold, is good. We'll be traveling south to check out the main street for truth on this story. Okay, so what are your thoughts? Um, we have gold up $23. I think that is on the week. Uh, silver up over $18. Platinum absolutely on fire. I uh, wish I hadn't sold, although I had a nice profit. I wish I hadn't sold my platinum. 
because uh, here we just went on to blow off all the way up to nearly a thousand dollars I mean again I think platinum is the uh, the flag bearer for what is going to happen next in the broader markets with gold and silver um, gold I don't think is coming back down anytime soon silver the the weak sister you know who knows it could go up it could go down but overall the trend is going to be up I believe and platinum is telling you that with people um, feeling they've missed the gold move and jumping into platinum uh, palladium no comment so uh, you know I think uh, investor demand is down I think um, um, retail buyers you know are certainly down collectors are down we know the collectible market is way down um, and the ETFs are up so I guess the question in my mind maybe one of you knows the answer to this um, when they purchase uh, the physical gold for the ETF what do they purchase uh, a thousand ounce uh, bars generic bars is the bullion all going into the ETF um, vaults um, sure would like to see one of those ETF vaults because uh, I don't quite believe it but um, maybe that maybe that is uh, where where the gold is going it's certainly not going into gold eagles or other world gold coins what are your thoughts on this and can you add any clarity to the story okay hope you enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe please thanks everybody have a great weekend